Okay, so let's continue our discussion. Okay, so this is uh, the third um, block of today's discussion. So uh, next, I'm going to explain to you the factors of production so that I can expand our PBA, right? Um, what are those three factors? Factor number one, factor number one. So it's gonna be land. But here, so you may want to understand land in a broader sense. This land will include natural resources such as mineral deposits, oil, like what is mineral deposits like gold, right, copper, oil, natural gas, so on and so forth, okay? So those are particularly important for a agriculture economy. It is also important for uh, industry economy because we need those mineral deposits, right? This is the first one. The second one is called labor. Right. So we need labor to to uh, to uh, to produce or to operate. Right. Uh, so that's the second important thing. Right. So we need to labor. So that includes mental and physical ability of the workplace uh, workforce, so that so that they can operate the machine. Now the third important factor include uh, is a physical capital, right? What is physical capital? Physical capital is manufactured items that will be used to produce other goods and services, right? Think about in the background, or for example, in the background, the tractors, right? Or think about the machines we use in the factories, right? So this is third factor. Now, the last one, I oh, apologize, so actually there are four instead of three. The last one is human capital. So human capital, similar to physical capital, but it go beyond physical capital. First of all, human capital is similar to physical capital in the sense it can be used to produce other goods and the service. Right? But this is different in the sense human capital uh, has later you're going to see we call non rarity meaning so meaning so when we use the phys, uh, human capital and then some somebody else can also use the same phys, uh, human capital now think about the education think about uh, the knowledge right so by the way so human capital is the educational achievement and skills of the labor force right and so in some sense this human capital is similar to Take a knowledge, right? So essentially, it's going to improve the efficiency of our production. Okay, so those are the four important things we will need or we will understand so that it can expand our production possibility frontier. Right? So those are four things. Now, so we have a short video to watch. Let me see what else we have. Okay, so we have a short video to watch for um, today's class. And uh, so in this short video, so you are going to see how new ideas in this particular case, which is a container. So um, people design these containers so that it can improve the efficiency of shipping industry significantly. That also makes globalization possible, right? And so this example just help us how our world's PPF changed through this in invention or through this new idea, right? So now let's just go to this, um, go to these short videos. Can you guys hear the uh, audio? I can't know. Sorry, so you can or you cannot? Uh, cannot. All right, okay. I try playing it. Okay, so then just wait a second. All right, so where we are, so basically, so uh, we use PBF to answer two questions, right? So one is, 
So we use PBF to understand what causes economic growth. And this economic growth can has two possibilities. Either there's increase in factor production. So basically, so there are four sources of factor production we just learned, right? So including land, including um, labor, including physical capital, and uh, lastly, including human capital, right? So if we have increase in either of those factor productions, and then so we can expand our PBF, and then so naturally we are going to experience an economic growth. So which is measured by, so we produce more goods and service, right? And other way we can achieve economic growth is through better technology, okay? The, through invention, like, like, the, like the short video which is watch, right? So this better technology or the new invention help us to organize our workplace more efficiently or better, right? So this is a PBA, uh, or how a PBA can affect economic growth. On the other hand, so this PBA can also use to help us understand the benefit of trade, right? Look at uh, this example. So we start from here, and then so we end up with uh, here, okay? And then what's the difference? The difference is, the uh, opportunity cost of both goods change, right? So the opportunity cost of clams decrease from two mangoes to one mango. On the other hand, the opportunity cost of mango increase from one half to one, right? And then from here, you can see, so it becomes more and more expensive for the economy to produce mango or for this individual to produce mango itself or himself, right? And it becomes cheaper and cheaper to produce clams himself or herself, right? So now just imagine if there is a identical island or similar island uh, in his reach or her reach. And so, but dif the difference is, so in this island, in the other island, so there's no technological progress. Meaning, so in the other island, so they still have these costs, okay? It's gonna cost two mangoes to produce one clams and cost one half man uh, clams to produce one mangoes. Or in other words, so this is uh, one island, this other island, All right? And clearly you can see, so they have different costs in producing clams and in producing mango. And then the, in the chapter, we will immediately open or immediately to discuss, we'll explain how these two islands can benefit from each other through trade. Okay? And why trade can help them to better off. Uh, the secret lies into the different, the different opportunity costs. Right, so basic. By the way, so this is this is one island. This is another island. Right, so their opportunity cost is different, but this opportunity cost is going to difference in opportunity cost will give us the concept of specialization. Okay, and so this to understand the specialization. So I will explain to you the absolute advantage versus comparative advantage. So this comparative advantage gives us specialization. And furthermore, that explains why we can benefit from each other through trade. Okay. So that will be the main discussion for our next class, right? So for today, I guess we will finish up to here. Uh, <clears throat> And don't, rem uh, don't forget, so you have a um, public quiz for this chapter. So that's gonna be due, I believe, like um, next Monday. Uh, in the meantime, so make sure so you have to finish your um, syllabus quiz and uh, you have finished the pre-test uh, assessment question and make notes for the last questions, right? Uh, so if you have no questions and uh, feel free to leave, Otherwise, um, so yes, yeah, so if you have a question, I will, I will stay here to answer your questions. Otherwise, we will see each other on um, Thursday. Uh, thank you so much for your attention.
Very Thank specific. You. Thank you. Yeah.